All right, so here we've got a uh, magnetron pulled out of an old 16-year-old uh, GE space maker over the range microwave. And uh, the symptoms were the microwave would run, everything looked normal, but wasn't heating anything. So I suspected that it was the magnetron. Um, but just wanted to show you the difference between a good magnetron and a bad one. So on the left here we've got uh, the one that I pulled, that's supposedly the bad one, set my multimeter to the lowest resistance setting, right now 200 ohms. We're going to test the two terminals here. And this is showing 0.3, which indicates that that test is good. And on the new one, same test. We're also getting 0.3, so that test passed. Now we're going to set the multimeter to the highest setting, minus 20,000 K. I'll put one probe on one terminal, and then we're going to touch the other terminal to the case. You should not get a reading here, but as you can see, I'm getting a slight, slight reading. I'm going to try the other terminal. also getting a slight reading which this indicates that there's continuity between the terminal and the case. If we check the new one we're not getting any reading here. We'll switch sides nothing. Also if I do a continuity test, set it to sound when you test the old one, the bad one you hear that? We're getting continuity between the case and the terminal. On the new one, we're not getting anything. That's the way it should be. So if you're Magnetron, it might pass the, the terminal test here, but if you're getting continuity between the terminal and the case, you've got a bad Magnetron. Hope that helps.